No, fashion doesn't have to be this bad. Fashion does not have to be this complicated. This is a new year and my name is Chiso Mutibiaka, your virtual bestie on here. And if today is your first time listening to me, please hit the like button and subscribe because you're going to enjoy it here. We are talking about fashion bad habits to drop this new year, right? So I'm going to just run through it really fast and one or two might just might just be a beacon for you to just take note of right number one is mismatched colors and patterns please you drop the habit of wearing clashing colors and patterns um you can't wear two check prints that are different colors up and down you can't just slash any color with any color of pants and shirts right so having a cohesive and well-coordinated look you know it reflects your sense of style and you just have to i mean there are ways to learn right here on youtube check out for men men's channels on fashion you're going to find a lot and go ahead and learn okay now uh, the next one is wearing if fitting clothes please if they don't fit don't bother about them you can amend them and make them fit but please do away with just wearing anything and saying okay i mean it's covering me so why not yeah because when they are fitted it enhances your comfort and your style right the third one is stop overlooking grooming so you might you're wearing that whole outfit you're looking cool but something about your hair being unkept or your nails be looking tacky or having facial hair that are overly not groomed it can distract people from all of the expensive outfit that you're wearing you, you get right so the next one is over accessorizing don't wear a lot of accessories on one clothing don't avoid that urge <laughs> don't wear too many accessories at a time it doesn't really it just people just wonder okay is he an artist or something you know it looks like you're overly trying to make an impression right and yeah so just be minimalist in approach and it has a way of just making you turn heads and people wonder oh who is this gentleman you know what i mean <laughs> another one is uh, please don't wear um, outfits that are outdated there are certain fashion that are clearly clearly outdated i remember what comes to my mind as i was writing about this is i know there is time that the, uh, this outfit used to rain i don't know whether it was a music band that made it popular back in the days or so but you know where people wear suits and then they turn up the the color of the shirts of the suit on top of the color of the suit and then also do that for the hands please don't do that kind of fashion <laughs> um, and there are so many of them like that that are clearly outdated except you're just trying to make a statement you're trying you're trying to wear a costume or an old school kind of thing you know please don't dress that way so that you don't come over as someone who people need to also avoid you know because dressing is so important guys dressing is so so important now also some people just wear shoes for wearing sake without maintaining them please stop ignoring shoe maintenance right because it, it just diminishes your overall impression people have about you when they look at your shoes and there's a saying that says that people look at your shoes first before even what you're wearing i don't know whether that's correct i've tried to check it out by myself but i don't think i look at people's shoes first I think I look at their faces first. I don't know, but please make sure that you invest in your footwear and make sure that they're in good condition. So you might just need to take all your shoes that are bad, let them to a cobbler, let them let them fix them, let them polish them, whatever that it needs. Right? Okay, now another one that is so key, a lot of people do this, applying a lot of cologne, like excessive. So yes you need to smell nice then you combine and then you put it a whole lot like you actually wear it in the sense of wearing <laughs> a little of it just goes a long way you know dropping the habit of applying and all of that will go a long way in helping you you know stand out with your scent pleasant and not overwhelming right also please don't wear visible undergarments a lot of men where sometimes I see the kind of people wear see-through shirts and then you're seeing their singlet showing. Okay. I know that most many women have that ba bad habit. Please don't join them. It just makes you look a bit like a sissy. Avoid exposing your underwears or like or letting them show out in your pants. Like people wear boxers and it's showing. You know, no, but it's a very subtle thing, but is a very significant thing It's very subtle but it's a very significant impression that it makes about you it, do, it removes from your overall polished outlook that you're trying to get or your appearance 
All right. Now, also make sure that you wear clothing according to the seasons. Like it's hot now in Nigeria. I don't see a reason why somebody is wearing a three piece suit for what kind of event. Maybe the event venue doesn't have an AC. He doesn't drive an AC car, doesn't live in an AC house. So what are you wearing the suit for? It's really hot. So dress according to season. Be mindful of seasonal wardrobe transitions. So don't wear inappropriate dresses. That's what we're trying to say, depending on the weather. And also make it stylish, like so it's hot, so wear something very light and also make it stylish and comfortable. It should be comfort and style when you buy a think about fashion. Another one, this last one I want to talk about, if I remember the case study around it, a comedian in Nigeria talked about the fact that Abuja men usually wear kaftan to everywhere, like every event. And I thought to talk about it, please dress for the occasion. High value men don't wear the same outfit for every occasion. No, now. <laughs> how you dress makes people know how socially fit you are, right? So why not? If you have any more to drop in the comment section to help your brother, drop it in the comments and I'll come your way pretty soon. If you haven't liked this video, please do like it so that YouTube can send it out to more brothers to check out and also make sure you subscribe and I'll come again pretty soon. Uh, cheers. This is Chisom Utibiaka.